Hey there, friends and fiends, and welcome to another episode of Serb's Snack Bar right here on the Vortex. This episode, we've got a theme of science fiction and visions of the future. We're going to travel in time, fight the robot monster, and I always love it when visions of the future have uh, that ancient Rome look and feel to them like we're going to see in Giant of Metropolis. And then in the middle of the show, we're going to see this very cool vision of the house of the future that's all electric. So kick back, get yourself a snack, and uh, I hope you enjoy a snack bar right here on the Vortex. Our service is friendly and quick. You'll find hot dogs, hamburgers, pizza, your favorite candies, hot and cold beverages, and other delicious snacks. So add to your fun of watching the movie. Visit our refreshment stand right now during our 10-minute intermission. We're glad to have you with us tonight. We hope you'll come to see us often. It's great to get out to the movies. stories as H.G. Wells' War of the Worlds and Jules Verne's 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea have challenged mankind. So today, man is successfully probing deep into the mysteries of the universe. Can he penetrate the greatest mystery of all, time itself? George Pell and the fabulous production know-how of Metro-Goldwyn-Mayer to catapult you through time into a world that is yet to be. Why is it that we usually ignore the fourth dimension? You, you see, we can move in the other three. As the doctor said, up, down, forwards, backwards, sideways. But when it comes to time, we are prisoners. Inventor Rod Taylor's breakthrough into the realm of the fourth dimension is defied by his friend Alan Young. If that machine can do what you say it can, Destroy it, George, before it destroys you. Every moment is a year, hurtling through the atomic wars of the future on an incredible excursion into the unknown. What are the people like? Ah, <laughs> the shape of things to come. It's lovely Yvette Mimieux. And what happens when boy meets girl thousands of years hence? How do they wear their hair? Who? The women of your time. Up like that. Show me. Is this the human race of the future? Or is this the Morlocks, fiendish creatures who live in a weird underground world? And the Eloi, the tranquil sunshine people, who the Morlocks dominate and maintain like cattle, luring them below with the hypnotic wail of the sirens to feed upon them in cannibalistic horror. Ray, the Earth is invaded by indestructible moon monsters. Their ghastly mission, death for all humans. <coughs> what astounding technical developments are being made to protect mankind. Robot Monster brings you an actual preview of the devastating forces of our future. Unsuspected revelations of incredible horrors that will terrify you with their brutal reality. There is no escape from me. Fool humans, there is no escape.
the giant of Metropolis. For the first time, filmdom has dared to explore the fascinating, mysterious story of Metropolis, the continent that reached its greatest splendor at a period now lost in the darkness of primeval time. The amazing story of an ancient people who achieved marvels of science, but used their discoveries as monstrous instruments of death for unattainable purposes. It is the story of Obro, a man gifted with prodigious strength and superhuman courage. He alone dared contest the cruel power of Metropolis. Yotar, a mad king, willing to sacrifice his tenderest affections to bring about the triumph of science. Mesede, incredibly beautiful, but subject to the ruthless hypnotic power of her father, the king, awakened to a new life of passionate, thrilling love. Elmos, heir to the throne destined to receive unattainable eternal youth by means of an inhuman experiment. A motion picture which restates the eternal proposition, freedom or slavery, spirit or materialism, nature or science, love or hatred. Metropolis. Furness. In all my years with Westinghouse, I've covered some pretty interesting stories, but here is truly the most wonderful and exciting thing I've ever had the chance to talk about. It's the Westinghouse Total Electric Home, a home where electricity does everything, heats, cools, illuminates, launders, preserves and prepares foods, entertains. It even lights a path to the front door with ray essence strip lighting. As visitors approach, more lights go on automatically to say a cheery welcome. Then when they arrive at the door, a television camera takes their picture to tell the hostess her guests have arrived. When you step inside the total electric home, you step into an entirely new concept in living organized around electric centers, such as this entertainment center. Electric heating and cooling keep the home constantly and automatically at the most livable temperatures all year round, and keep it clean and healthful too. Sterile lamps kill airborne bacteria, while electrostatic filters remove pollen and dust. The pride and joy of the man of the house is the weather control center a center that puts you in charge of the electric heating and air conditioning and the electronic air filtering of the entire house. If you like, the temperature of each room in the total electric home can be set individually. And for the amateur weatherman, the control center reports outside wind velocity and direction, outside temperature and humidity, and barometric pressure. In the winter, the press of a button de-ices the front walk and driveway. In summer, an automatic control starts the lawn sprinklers when the ground gets thirsty. Another beautiful and practical electrical center in the Total Electric Home is the Laundry and Home Planning Center. With individual hampers, your clothes are sorted by type. Directly opposite to save you steps are the real geniuses of this very last word in home laundries, 
All you do is load the clothes in this new Westinghouse 1000 laundromat and electric clothes dryer. The remarkable program computer selects and carries out the perfect washing and drying program for every fabric at the touch of a button. It's the first home laundry that can think. Over here is the combination open fireplace and electric barbecue. By touching an electric starter, the host can get the charcoal going and demonstrate his cooking skill. And whenever the family just wants to enjoy a cozy fire, all he has to do is throw on the logs and push a button to automatically lower a protective screen. Cooking is really a joy in the food preparation center. Here you have a refrigerator that looks like fine furniture. For convenience, the upper unit of the refrigerator opens from both sides, and below are handy, spacious refrigerator and freezer drawers. Then, too, there's the miraculous electronic oven that will cook these appetizers in six seconds. Appetizers that were prepared from recipes kept in this microfilm file. Thousands of recipes are on file here, and simply by pressing a couple of buttons, the recipe of your choice appears on the screen. The entertainment center of the Total Electric Home is a whole world of built-in pleasure. Never before has so much fun been organized in one convenient and compact area fun that the entire family can enjoy together. For the young in heart, a button selects the latest hit record and plays it automatically. Your television screen is easily aimed toward any part of the room. And for a pleasant background of stereo classics, just press for your selections and put them on the Westinghouse Stereo Fidelity set with special speakers that surround you with music. Almost every form of home entertainment is centered here. AM, FM radio, tape recorder, slide projector, games of all kinds in drawers that roll out at a touch. There's even equipment for showing your own home movies, those personal dramas and comedies written, starred in, directed, and produced by you. A sliding wall of the entertainment center conceals a built-in projector that glides out into the room. Then, at the push of a button, the lights lower automatically, a large movie screen comes down, and it's time for the show. Let's take a look at the health and beauty center of the Total Electric Home. The center that keeps you feeling as well as you look. Here, and throughout the house, beautiful fashion plate switches control your lighting. Just a tap of the fashion plate and lights are on or off with no buttons or switches sticking out. Overhead, Sun lamps shine down to give you that healthy glow. A true sun bath, even while shaving or making up. Being beautiful is so much easier here, too. There's an electrically warmed mirror that will never fog up. Over here is something truly remarkable. An experimental wall of light. It isn't on the market yet, but when it does go on sale, it will not only illuminate whatever room it's placed in, but also cool the room in summer and heat it in winter. To help maintain that healthy tingle, there's an electric massage table and outside an electric exerciser. You see, the health and beauty center even extends outdoors into the fresh air and sunshine. A sliding wall here in the children's quarters converts one large area into two separate bedrooms at night. During the day, the wall slides back, and this becomes the child's education center. There's an electrically operated planetarium to encourage a study of the stars. 
The needs of the growing children in this house are provided for mentally as well as physically, with plenty of space to study or play. Slide projectors, the latest up-to-date maps of the world, and the whole host of electrical instruments that help the eager mind explore nature's secrets and, incidentally, help with the homework. Hobbies aren't forgotten here in the Total Electric Home either. They're more fun than ever here in the Hobby Center. Notice how compactly everything is arranged, with tools and supplies that tuck away into the smallest possible space. Everything is accessible at the touch of a button, compactly stored behind sliding walls, and is protected by an electric dehumidifier, which also helps keep the workshop dry. There's even a smaller version of the workshop for the kids. Designed primarily as a model building workshop, it's child size to help encourage the fun of building and creating. To complete the home workshop, there's even a paint spray booth. Equipped as he is with the latest in power tools and equipment, there's no job that's too big for dad to tackle. Of course, Total Electric Living moves outdoors to the patio easily and conveniently. Here's a new idea, a portable power pole that sets into pre-wired locations and lets you use your television or any of your appliances outdoors. If there are insects, the touch of a button provides screened-in comfort. The screens are in place at night, out of the way during daylight hours. There are even windscreens that move at the touch of a button to give protection from wandering breezes. Eating outdoors is better than ever, too, in the total electric home. Here's a food and service bar that can be assembled in many different ways. And because it's topped with Westinghouse micarta, it is stain and beverage resistant, can be cleaned up with a simple wipe of a damp cloth. Set into its micarta top is the electric barbecue, complete with electric starter and an electric rotisserie. There's even an appliance center and a food and dish warmer. In the total electric home, all the conveniences are yours outdoors as well as indoors. But the real heart of this home is clean, safe electric heating. A home is not totally electric without it. Yes, a new concept in living with the feel of the future is here today in this Westinghouse Total Electric Home. And the wonder of it is, Total Electric Living is not expensive. What's more, Total Electric Homes can be built to fit every taste in styling, any climate, and most important, to suit any price range. As a matter of fact, Total Electric Living is well within the reach of most people planning to build, buy, or remodel. The Total Electric Home is another reason we can say that when it comes to leading the way with new ideas for better living, you can be sure if it's Westinghouse.
Today, we're interviewing a stomach. Hello there. What is life like as a stomach? Oh, boy, it was humdrum. I mean, until what's-his-name discovered Tony's Pizza. Tony's Pizza? Yeah, I was suffering from the pizza cravings until Tony's came along. Crispy crust and zesty sauces. <laughs> wow. And so now... What's that? Another pizza craving. Just thinking about Tony's sets it off. Oh, wh where are you going? He's going to get a Tony's Pizza. And I follow him anyway. Does your stomach send you pizza craving signals? Oh, wow. Tony's, the pizza craver's pizza. Available at the concession stand. saucers have invaded our planet. Washington, London, Paris, Moscow are key targets. The whole world is under attack. Can it survive? of a disintegrated solar system. At this moment, the remainder of our fleet is circling your globe. What do you want with me? Arrange for your world leaders to confer with us in the city of Washington. They set up an electronic screen. The artillery doesn't penetrate. Never before has the screen reached such heights of excitement. Breathtaking spectacle. Hair-raising terror. See the saucer men's high frequency disintegrator. See flying saucers travel thousands of miles in seconds. See great cities leveled by flying saucer monsters. Russ, look. It's the same kind of thing that's watched us since the beginning of the project. People of Earth, attention. People of Earth, attention. This is a voice speaking to you from thousands of miles beyond your planet. They're coming down to take over. They made that clear to us in the saucer. To the best of our knowledge, my wife and I are the only ones left alive. So what did you think about that, friends and fiends? Did you check out those cool stop-motion uh, effects from Ray Harryhausen there in Earth vs. the Flying Saucer? And who knew that Dr. Pepper was originally Sheriff Pepper? You know, it's things to ponder. I hope you enjoyed it, and please... Stick around to see what's next right here on the Vortex. And until next time, you'll find me at the snack bar. Hey.